Welcome back to Burst TV. I'm Melissa, registered dental hygienist and Burst ambassador. In this video, I'll be discussing PFAs, what they are, where they're found, and why we should all be taking notes as dental professionals and consumers of oral care products. PFAs is an acronym used for a family of chemicals called PER and polyfluoroalkyl substances. It was a tongue twister. Now it's important to understand that these chemicals are synthetic and do not appear naturally in the environment. Now, in fact, they were originally discovered in 1938 when a chemist working on refrigerants accidentally created a slippery white substance that would later lead to the creation of a very common brand of nonstick cookware. I'll admit it, these pots and pans may clean up a breeze. As of February 2022, the U.S. Environmental Protective Agency counted about 12,000 different kinds of PFAs. The common characteristic of all PFAs is that they included a carbon fluorine molecule bond, one of the strongest known in chemistry. These chemicals are virtually indestructible and do not fully degrade in the environment or within living tissue. For that reason, they're often referred to as forever chemicals. I am no chemist, but that definitely does not sound safe to me. PFAs have been linked to health effects, including ulcerative colitis, high cholesterol, thyroid disease, testicular cancer, kidney cancer, and pregnancy-induced hypertension, just to name a few. So while we had all celebrated nonstick cookware, research showed years later the potential toxicity that can occur with use over time. Now this led to them reformulating nonstick cookware, which has been PFA-free since 2013. But here's a list of other products that PFAs are still used in. Rainware, microwavable popcorn packaging, fast food packaging, furniture, outdoor equipment, tapes, cosmetics. PFAs are also found in electronics and medical equipment. Clearly, it's found in a lot of our day-to-day -day living. So federal testing does show that PFAs are in the blood of more than 98% of Americans and stay in the body years after exposure. So while I would love to continue to discuss this topic for hours, I wanted to jump right into why PFAs have been looked very closely amongst the dental community. So I came across an article a fellow RDH wrote after she researched the safety of dental floss, specifically coated dental floss. So after a quick Google search, I discovered a list of floss that did in fact contain PFAs. One of them was one I had recommended and used myself for years. This got me thinking, how many of us dental professionals know which floss is PFA free? Here I am recommending my patients use floss daily, which could possibly impact their health based on the type of floss they choose. So there is one peer reviewed scholarly article on the subject and learned using a PFA coated floss was associated in fact with higher serum concentrations of PFAs. So the researchers measured 11 different PFA chemicals in blood samples taken from 178 middle-aged women. And there were a total of 18 different flosses that were studied. Researchers then compared the blood measurements with results that showed women who floss with the single strand coated floss tended to have higher levels of PFAs in their body compared to those who didn't use it. So what does the ADA say about this? Well, the ADA's response was there's not enough evidence to conclusively say they were not safe. So after everything we know about PFAs, I'm really hoping more research will happen to give us evidence to be certain of the safety of coated floss. Until that time comes, we need to educate our patients of the potential risk of using PFA coated floss and provide them the list of PFA free floss. Now I wanna note, not all coated floss contain PFAs. It is important for us to do our research and educate our patients. But my number one floss I've been using and recommending the last few years happens to be PFA free and is made by Burst. And it's pretty cool. I helped develop it. So don't mind me, I'll be flossing. Thank you for watching Burst TV. If you found this video helpful, be sure you hit the like button and subscribe to Burst TV so you don't miss any of our weekly segments. If you have any questions or concerns, please comment below so we can answer those. Take care and be safe.